<laughs> my name's Michael Bratton. This is my ghost story. When I was a kid, we lived in this old house. It was built in 1861 back in the old Northeast District. I used to wait for my older brother to get home. He'd do nice things for me all the time. He was a good older brother. One night I was sound asleep, didn't even hear him come home. Woke up the next morning, there's like about four or five dollars worth of change laying on my dresser. Go downstairs, him and mom are in the kitchen. I said thanks for giving me the money and he looked at me really odd, didn't know what to think, so I, I didn't give you any money. I looked at mom, she said, don't look at me, I didn't give you any money. You know, she said, I know your dad didn't. They wanted to see this money, so I took him upstairs to my room. It was still laying on the dresser. Well, there was about maybe four or five dollars worth of change, all uh, mercury dimes, buffalo nickels. My brother started looking through it. All the dates range from oh, about 1911 to about 1918. To this day, I've even asked my brother and mom, and uh, they swear to God they did not put that money there. So obviously we had a nice ghost. My name is Winston Apple, and this is my true ghost story. Uh, my family has a little bit of a history of people seeing their parents' ghosts. My mother saw her mother and her mother saw her mother. So after my father died, I was a little bit nervous that I was going to see his ghost and wasn't sure I really wanted to. Uh, but about seven months after he died, I was in Los Angeles. I'd gone out there from Kansas City to do some recording and I was staying in a motel. Uh, I was alone and in the process of falling asleep, when I looked up and saw the ghost of my father standing at the foot of the bed. And he didn't say anything, and I didn't say anything, but I got the distinct feeling uh, he knew that I'd always had a little bit of a rough time in L.A. just handling the city, and uh, that he was just checking in to see if I was all right. And after just a few seconds, uh, I either fell asleep or the disappeared. I, I'm not sure which. Um, I don't know exactly what that was. It may have just been something going on in my head as I was falling asleep, but it certainly looked like the classic movie ghost. Uh, you could see it was my father, but I could see through him. And uh, so if there are such things as ghosts, I guess that was one of them. My name's Jeff Link, and this is my ghost story. I bought a house and it uh, looked a lot like the Amityville uh, horror house. It had the eyes on the side of the window and it used to, the faucet used to drip dark black stuff like in the Amityville horror and the toilets did the same thing and downstairs was, uh, it would fill up with uh, black water. It was just real creepy all the time. It was not what, real well lit. It had 13 stairs upstairs, and it even had a closet where there were stairs in there that didn't go anywhere. I was setting home one night, and it was very late at night, and I had a fire going, and I heard a whispering sound outside, like a something brush against the window pane, or the screen outside, and I looked up, and most of the lights were out and on. I saw the silhouette and then just this thing turned towards me and it was a, an old hag. And I got immediately horrified and didn't know what to do. So I turned all the lights on and uh, waited about half an hour and then I went outside to investigate and I didn't see anything. I don't know what it was, but it was uh, enough to scared me into moving the, from the house about a month later. My name's Rocco Priolo, and this is my ghost story. About two years ago in this very house, I was going to bed as usual one night. And uh, we keep our bedroom pitch black. So I always make my way along the edge of the bed, you know, feeling the edge of the bed, to get to my side. Well, right when I got to the corner of, uh, close to my side of the bed, I felt a hand firmly placed on my shoulder. 
Now, I assumed it was Renee. I mean, it scared the hell out of me, but we've almost run into each other in the dark before coming or going to the bathroom. So uh, I said, man, you scared the hell out of me. And then from the bed, I hear, huh, what? And I said, weren't you just standing up here? And she said, no, you just woke me up. And uh, I felt this extreme rush of blood in my body like I've never felt before. And I switched on the light uh, real quick. And uh, of course, there was nobody there. Don't know. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.